Hello and welcome to Counterpoint Conversations. My name is Ritesh and we are here in Delhi for the AMD Ryzen 9000 desktop processors uh, launch event. And I'm delighted to be joined by Srinivas Reddy. Uh, he's the country manager at AMD and he's responsible for sales and distribution in India and APAC. Yeah. So, hey Srini, welcome to the show. Hi Ritesh, thank you. Yeah, great to have you here. And uh, lot of, lots of things to unpack over here. So, can you uh, first tell us about uh, how the roadmap for the 9000 desktop processors evolved compared to the previous generation? Yeah, so good good question. I think uh, uh, it's been an exciting launch today. Um, the 9000 series processors are follow through of the earlier AM5 platform 7000 series. Right. Our uh, innovation has been uh, around power efficiency and uh, with the earlier generation to current generation, you see a IPC uplift of up to 16%. Okay. So that's a substantial uplift. We really thank our engineers for working around the clock and make this happen. And we have launched four models, the Ryzen 5 the Ryzen 9700X, the Ryzen 9900X, the Ryzen 9900X, and the 9950X. The entire stack is available and look forward to have this on shelf across India. And this new processor has also come with the new Zen 5 architecture. So can you tell us about uh, what's changing from Zen 4 to Zen 5 and what are the uh, performance uh, improvements and efficiency as well that we can expect with this? Yeah, so Zen 5 has been a groundbreaking technology. As you see, um, the amount of uplift to this AM5 platform is able to offer uh, as, as I rightly said, like up to 16% uplift you see. Right. The uh, adoption of the chipset uh, from a AM4 to AM5, you see it, um, the I.O. and the memory um, uh, power, which is kind of offering you. The I.O. or say PCI Gen 5 or the uh, DDR5 is a, is a change from earlier generation to this generation, right. which will help you give the better bandwidth for, uh, for I.O. as well as memory. So, who is your target audience with uh, the new processors? You mentioned a lot about content creation during the presentation. So, is it just content creators and creative professionals or even gamers as well? It's a good question. So, uh, if you ask me, there's a lot of evolution, revolution in the industry, be it on the mobile side or be it on the IoT side. Right. So, with the 9000 series process introduction, we want to bring in that revolutionary into the content creator market. Right. But we always been, our forte has been to kind of give the great products around gaming. So not compromising on the gaming performance. Uh, our push would be to kind of make sure that this content creator market chooses and opts for 9000 series for the value it brings on table as compared to our competition. Now, if we kind of look at content creators, they use apps like DaVinci Resolve for video editing or Premiere Pro, right? And uh, if we talk about things on the mobile side, yeah. right? You have a dedicated NPU and all these apps, they have optimized to make the most of that NPU for things like background blur and, yeah. uh, you know, all those video effects and all. But over here, we don't have the dedicated NPU. We have an integrated GPU. So, what is the kind of performance difference that one gets between an NPU or a GPU, or do I need a discrete GPU to get that much amount of performance? Perfect. I think you rightly noticed the uh, the mobile platform. Uh, we have limitations, though it's an NPU. The maximum limit you can push up to is say fifty tops. Right. So, uh, but when you come to a desktop, it gives you flexibility of kind of pushing the limits beyond 100 tops or hundreds of tops. Uh, right. Red. Yes, for this, you definitely need a dedicated graphics card. Right. And that's that will definitely push you the limits and barriers. And 9000 series supports you to give that flexibility of adding a graphic card and push those limits beyond 100 tops. We are on the topic of tops, right? Yeah. And you have Copilot Plus PCs yeah. coming in with 45 or 50 top tops. So what are the 
maximum tops that we can get here with the Ryzen 9000 desktop processor without GPU and with GPU. So, uh, as I said, this is not an NPU. Right. But uh, if you ask me uh, what you get on a mobile platform versus the desktop 9000 series, right. definitely it's going to be beyond 50 tops. For okay. Sure. If you want to push the barrier and get more performance out of it, you definitely have to add a graphic card. Okay. But I can tell you that beyond 50 tops is possible. And finally, I would want to touch on the channel strategy as well. Yeah. Uh, these processors will be available at all retail stores and all. Uh, but, you know, recently I visited uh, a couple of retail stores like Chroma, Reliance Digital. And then there is a branding uh like hp is doing its own branding you have your competitors that have the branding that you know this is powered by yeah. x chipset or uh, processor right but i haven't seen much on the amd side so what is it that you are uh doing over there on the distribution and channel side yeah uh it's a very good question uh, if you ask me uh the white box business which i kind of manage right uh, is still dependent on the mom and pop store uh, distribution model. The length and breadth of the country, you have these retailers, neighborhood stores, basically, right. who are the prime uh, options for consumers to go and choose. Uh, however, the LFRs are still adapting to build uh, right. and integrate a PC and sell those. However, they are more focused on the finished products. Right. So the retailers have the knowledge of these products and when a consumer walks into a nearest retailer there is ample amd branding visible for them to choose why amd there and right. the message is really there in these mom and pop stores as i said we are evolving detail is already having a, a next level visibility around the brand right. uh, lfrs are adopting as we progress you will see more of diy pieces getting built in this lfr market great and one last question yeah like uh i've been a journalist and I, i'm like in touch with all my peers in the industry right and a lot of them are gamers yeah. as well there is uh like a mixed reaction when it comes to the 9000 desktop processors maybe people expected something more so what is it that you would want to say uh in terms of you know the performance that one can get especially if he's a gamer mm -hmm. so as i said uh, uh, in my uh, presentation across the stack right. the gaming performance for different games be it esports or triple a games there is a substantial uh, higher single digit or up to like uh, double digit uh, performance uplift from right. from the uh, competition equivalent products uh, these are with our own product comparison there is a, a performance difference from as as high as uh, uh, 3% to say 13% of lift in terms of gaming performance. Okay. Definitely there is a, a content and productivity applications. Uh, there is a bigger uh, lift from. Right. This is uh, great. So I think thanks that's about time. it. And thanks for taking your time out. And thanks for being on the show. Yeah. Thanks for, thanks for being here and having me. Thanks. Thanks for inviting us.